What would you say is harder? Doing the movements yourself or teaching somebody else those movements? Oh, it's, uh, it's two different, totally different challenges. Um, I, I love working with people. I love when they get it and they're like, oh my God, I just dropped in. And it's a process when you're working with someone and they find something, it's like going into the state of no mind where you, you can try it technically and you're like, oh, oh, and then when you allow the technique to fall away and allow it to become a feeling, that's the moment when they go, oh my God. And then they come back and they go, I just did it. You know, and then it messes up. So it's allowing that, that moment when the, it becomes a feeling to continue to happen. So I'm like, allow it to continue, allow it to continue. I always say that, oh, you're in, allow it to continue. So it's a process of allowing yourself to do it right when you're doing it. Um, as for myself, when I'm, when I'm working on my own movement for my own character, um, I'll, I'll start from a feeling first and I'll see how it takes me out. I like to start from an internal place and I like to see where it wants, how it wants me to move and how it, want, how it makes me feel and where, where, the, where the, um, uh, the intention comes from. And that intention will drive the root of the movement and then I'll, I'll see where I'm pulling from, my heart, my hips, my, my back. My, my, my face, whatever it is, for each character, a different character, what's the, what's the, what's the intention point? Uh, and that will sort of just be a good place to start when you're developing the movement for a character. What has been your reaction to being here at New York Comic Con? This is my first time at any Comic Con, and I think this is just amazing. I was walking around with my jaw hanging up and just looking at everybody's costumes and how many people there are here interested in obviously like we've barely seen how many things there are going on here this is amazing my jaw hangs open it's it, it's cool and i and being here today like in this situation has been just fantastic getting a chance to um people have come up and told us some things about different things of how they felt about the film or what it meant to them and that's been really neat and also asking really interesting questions about the movement, about voice, about all kinds of stuff. Uh, it's been wonderful to have the chance to go back and forth with people on that. Would you consider uh, the Walk Like an Ape tutorial a safe at home activity? Yeah, definitely, yes, it is. Um, it's all about economy, it's all about um, uh, integrity, moving from the intrinsic body, taking, um, taking a, finding a mind-body balance where you're softening your mind and it becomes more connected to your body so your awareness sort of increases your peripheral widens and um, so yes it is safe and it's healthy Do you recommend moving the furniture uh, yes definitely clear the furniture out yeah <laughs> and don't let don't, and take the and put the dogs in the other room because they're gonna want to chase you around and bark at you mind you this one is for both of you should we see a Maurice Rocket spin-off? Well, it's, it's a very interesting question. I don't know. I mean, we're certainly sort of joined at the hip a little bit. I mean, yeah. it's a, um, my, my feeling has been that, like, the movies have been so beautifully written by uh, Rick Jaffin and Amanda Silver and then by Mark Bombeck with Matt Reeves. And um, wherever anything would go from here, frankly, I would consult with the masters that way. That would be my thing. Now, would it be wonderful to do something going forward if it was beautifully written story with a wonderful director like Matt Reeves? Or say perhaps if Andy Serkis wanted to do something, um, then I think that would be wonderful. Yeah. Uh, ditto. Um, amazing. If, if we get to grow and continue with our characters, it would be, it'd be a, a gift.